Hello and welcome back to A Rose in the Twilight. I'm your host, Tin Man Ad. Let's see what's in this book. Oh, the... That music changed there. Oh, okay. So that is the giant and we've currently made friends with it and that's okay, it's just just made that monster into pulp. You're not going to do that to us, right? Oh no, we, do we? Oh, are we? Oh, okay, okay never mind. I thought we were going to have like a small scene try having to run away from the giant. Probably not. Okay, so we're... After a shadow rose now, I guess? That is that who we're following? Okay, I was should have expected a segment where we were just playing the uh, giant. Oh, okay. That means we don't have access to all our powers. I mean, we can lift stuff, which is grand. Oh. The auditorium. What the hell? Oh, is it? Oh, okay, I rose. Uh, this is a massive chandelier, isn't it? A crystal chandelier. Right. How would you make this? Rose, Rose. All right, we. Oh, uh, we got to break these chains, aren't we? Yeah. I can't get up. <laughs> really? Yeah, okay. <laughs> No, okay, I... Oh, wait, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Rose! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Run! Oh, that was close. That was close. Oh. Ah, okay, she's... Unconscious now. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, we're back. To which room is this? To the to the Iron Maiden one. Hmm. Hmm. I can't access the menu right now. Also, there's a shadow rose. Oh yeah, we dropped a thing. And kill the guy. That's probably not good. Or the crystal bled out. I think the crystal bled out. Also, Rose is looking worse for wear, isn't she? At least she's still, she's okay with us. I'm not sure what was... Oh, we killed the raw. Okay, that what that's an ending. Apparently, we got, apparently got an ending. I wasn't expecting that. What? What? <laughs> I 
Okay, it's starting off us from here. The problem big. Okay. So let's say we do know this is the fake rose. I don't even okay. Yeah, I can't access that. Okay. What if we key? We can't walk off the edge. I wonder if we break that. Pick up this rose and fall down with it. Fall down with it? No? No, not happening. This triggers that. No, no, okay. <laughs> huh. I think she's looking worse for her, but she looks like normal here. <laughs> Hang on, am I, yeah, am I just locked to that now? Okay, I couldn't do anything to change it. The annoying thing is, is not being able to head back on myself there. So there is something I can do there. I just need to figure out what. Oh, let this. I can't skip this, unfortunately. Okay, I think I got one option I want to do. Oh, yeah, you can see a crown there. But what would be the purpose of this? Like, why would whatever this being is want to kill Rose, take her appearance, and run away? Oh, she is. I just realized she's not reviving, is she? Hmm. There is one, one more thing left to do. Also, I was definitely not expecting it to end this soonish. Okay, so. Oh no, Rose! Just gonna break this. And walk away. Because I get the first instinct is to save Rose. Yeah, because she still fears us there. Yeah, we're, we're a okay guy. Looking all starry-eyed. Oh, she given us the conveniently placed giant crown there on for us. Uh, 
Oh, there was two of them. Oh. Oh. There was two of them. So, one of them was obviously, so one of them was cursed, the other one was, like, fight, got coronated as the princess or queen, and this is how the one who didn't get cursed finally gets cursed here. Oh, that's the Thorn's power going rampant there. And yeah, into the opening of the game there. Ran towards the tower, eh? Still got a couple more memories left. Can I? I travel there? Yeah. The thorns have been untangled. The lift looks like it can be used. The girl who looks like Rose went to the top of the tower. Of course, the uh, finale is going to happen at the top of a clock tower. Do I get that? Okay, it's understandable why I got really confused why there was like, why were we cursed when we were young, but you know, having memories recently of not being. Oh my god, this lift is slow. Like, why are we getting coronated even though we were cursed? And obviously, they didn't find a way to uncurse us, and then we got cursed again. Oh, springs. Spring mechanisms. Yup. <laughs> God, this far other um, quiet music, and do we have to dodge? Are we at zero G now? Uh, I don't get what's happening. Oh, come on, come on. I should have. I think they're being oddly generous with these checkpoints now, I have to say. Everything seems very slow. That's what I want to say. Okay, that's that's probably sped up every. Uh, oh! Time dilation, okay.
giant speculation. What was the giant created for? Such questions are discussed in this note. Uh -huh. Thoughts were created by someone, made for a purpose. Visual library, site search library, everything's gone. Oh, yeah. Okay, about the giant. It feels like it's made of stone, but also a plant. Its texture is hard, yet flexible. Its surface is smooth and yet cool to the touch. Its grooved swirls lie in its face. Should be... Uh, the swirled grooves lie somewhere in its face. Should be... Is it part... Is it some sort of pattern used for rituals? Can't absorb colour from the giant. That's why I keep it by my side and make use of it. After analysing the documents in the private room, I thought maybe the giant was created to fight against the thorns. It's ironic the giant is being ordered by me, the one cursed by thorns. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see here. Head back up. Though, so, it's <laughs> it's weird that they had like time dilation just happen here. Okay, we are. I want to see this to the end. Right now, I really do want to see this to the end. <laughs> so let's see. Let's finish off this room. I imagine we're not that far off from. Yeah, I just need, probably just need a giant over here. Oh, no. Uh, jump. Yeah, wasn't that far off. Okay, so. That does it for this episode. <coughs> Before I end up dying. That does it for this episode of A Rose in the Twilight. I have been your host, Tim Man, and I'm signing off. Goodbye.